Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of An Honest Review. Um, if you're new to the channel, basically I'm just a guy that buys stuff that he thinks are going to be useful for um, either running, the outdoors, hiking, everyday travel. Um, I'm a gear guy and um, I love trying out different gear. Um, I have no sponsorship so nobody really pays me to do these reviews. So you see the gear that I'm interested in and I do an honest review. What I found on the purpose of this channel is that what I found is that we usually when I look for a review, it's a big partnership or more like an unboxing and nobody's really giving me uh, the information that I want to know about everyday use, which is why I'm setting up these reviews. Um, and today we're going to review the everyday pack by um, pick design. So the everyday backpack, it's, um, has been, uh, there's a huge following for these packs. Um, pick design has great stuff. One of the things that I really love from pick design is actually their shoe bag. It's great cause it's waterproof and it's very light and not just for shoes. Like sometimes I use that when I travel for my dirty clothes and stuff, but anyway, just a little bit of feedback. Um, you know, in my line of work, I, I travel a lot. At some point I was taking three or four, maybe five flights a week. So uh, convenience when I travel, it's something that I really look um, into when I'm getting gear. Um, for the longest times, for many, many years, I traveled only with a with a GoRuck bag because GoRuck uh, GR1, it's a uh, great quality. They have a life, life, um, lifelong warranty and so on. And that's what I did. However, uh, I started changing in work and I wanted something that looked a little bit more professional, which is why I picked up this guy. And per usual, here are the first, the things that I liked, the things that I didn't like. Uh, if you want the full specs, they're on the website. But the model that I have here right now, is a 20 liter version. The 20 liter version starts at, I'm gonna talk about the first feature here. It starts at 17 liters as it is right now and it expands all the way to 20. So when we're talking about the capacity on the website, it's actually the expanded capacity. So if you are getting the 30 liter version, it starts at 22 and it expands to 30, if that makes sense. So it's not the minimum, but the maximum. How do you expand the space on this pack? We have this magnetic latch closure. Actually, you can just, it's, it's magnetic. So once it latches, let me put it on the maximum, on the minimum, so you actually see the system. So once it's latched, it will not open, right? But then very easily just pull, like so. You see it has a little spring system, and then it's open, right? So when it's very full, you put it all the way here to the top, Right, and that's how you get your 20 liters, right? As you can see, it also has this, uh, this flaps that fold in when it's we're not being used to its maximum capacity, and then they will fold out, right? Of course, if this is entirely full, then you have more pressure from whatever gear or clothes you're carrying in, and then, you know, this will create the tension here. So this is the maximum capacity. Uh, I find it that I typically use it like this, right? In one of the first two or three, never really here. Well, maybe here when I have a jacket or so. So that's the first feature, right? It's how it closes, right? So that being said, this means that this becomes a top load pack, right? It's a top load pack. Um, very, very, very um, spacious. Um, however, this is probably my favorite feature of the pack is that it has zippers on the side so you can open it like so. And it also has a zipper on the other side. So you can open it both ways, right? So I really like that because for example, if I'm carrying it like this, and I want access to something, I could just really quickly take a look at my contents and just pick whatever I was in need for, right? So that is actually pretty cool. 
And then right now, as you, see, as you saw, I used the bottom zipper because I was just swinging it like this. So I'll just go ahead and um, zip it back. And then I continue to carry my pack, right? Now, as probably you noticed, there are some separators, uh, separations, separators or separations um, in, in there, right? Which is also one of the nice features. I mean, this was thought to be more like a camera bag. So when you have a, when you're carrying camera equipment, you maybe want to separate your lenses from your camera bodies and, and that fun stuff, uh, you know, so it has some separators right they're really cool because you can clip actually here and now you create a little bit of a compartment so you have something here you have something on the other side right i have this is my permanent separation because here in the bottom are the stuff i use these for for like i said for traveling for everyday carry for my carry on when it's but not for clothing right this is where i carry my headphones my chargers my hand sanitizer all those fun things right so i really like this because then what I do is that here in the top, uh, here in the bottom, I put the stuff that I don't necessarily gonna use all the time, but I want accessible, for example, chargers and headphones. And here in the top, I put the slightly bigger stuff that I, that I, that I probably wanna have more access to readily. Like for example, like a small jacket or a small sweater or my noise canceling headphones, right? So noise canceling headphones. And then here I put my, you know, workout headphones and so on. Um, here I put my notebooks, here I put, you know, stuff that is not all the time because that way, if I'm in the plane and it's under my seat, I can just open here, grab my notebook, grab my headphones without having to dig all the way to the bottom, right? Because that's the way separators work. As you can see, this one is actually folded, but if I push it, then it creates a full shelf. I can pull it and then I can actually have something, let's say of a long configuration diary on the side. So I really like how easy it is to organize inside, right? And just to give you guys a little bit of a feedback of how this works, let me pull one of these out. So just to keep the set, I, I only use one, but I just to keep both handy in case I wanna use the other one at some point, I have it permanently here in the bottom. And the way it works is Velcro, very easy. So it Velcros to the sides of the pack and it's a the semi-rigid construction. So as, as I was telling you, you can actually create this little separation. So you can actually have something in the middle. I usually use it like this sometimes, right? Very, very simple to use. Velcro here and then the both walls inside the pack are kind of fuzzy, so the Velcro attaches there. So the configuration is really, really cool. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and I probably have it somewhere else, it comes with three of those. Um, I only have one extra here permanently, just in case at some point I wanna need it. If I, I think about it like when I travel, if I buy something that it's a little bit fragile, like I go to duty free, I want a bottle of, of something, of wine, then I can create a smaller shelf just for the bottle, right? That's what I have this extra one just in case. But I usually permanently have these. Again, these are 20 liter version, so just putting it there roughly, you know, like maybe two thirds of the length, it's enough for notebooks, for example, right? Okay, so here, another feature here is the organization it has here on the side. So this is a magnetic pocket right here has a little magnet here to keep it shot. So, you know, I, I'm i not a fan of this one because I feel like, okay, what are you gonna put there? But, you know, maybe like for your face mask is kind of convenient now that we're traveling in the pandemic. And then it has a zipper pocket here that actually has also some organization right here, right? So these are where I keep my USB sticks, things like that, small items that I don't want to get lost. If I travel internationally, that's also a good place to have my, uh, my passport. Also, since we're talking a little bit about safety, right? Like, oh, things you don't want to get lost. The zippers actually have this feature, which they unbutton, and you can attach them to this loop that you have right there. And then it kind of prevents people from opening your pack, like if you're riding the subway or the train without you looking, right? So kind of like cool 
little feature. I mean, I don't know. That's how they sell it. I don't imagine anybody opening these zippers without me noticing, but well, that's what they're for. All right, cool. So um, as you can see, top handle, side handles for ease of use. Um, when we come to the straps, um, they are magnetic. They attach magnetically to the back of the pack, right? You see how they fall in, right? The reason for that is because they have a pass through here so that if you have a roller bag, you can just pass through, oh, let me put that back in, pass that through the handles and the straps are not, you know, floating around, right? Like usually happens with backpacks. So pretty cool, right? Pretty neat. Um, they, this is compatible with a hip, with a hip belt that goes here in the back. But to be honest, right there, but to be honest, at this at this capacity, at these 20 liters, I don't see a use for a hip belt, right? I mean, I think it should be fine. Um, then let's go into another 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 feature here. It's a laptop compartment, right? It's a very deep pocket. Um, it has a separation, so you can actually have a tablet, and it has everything is magnetic, right? Everything is kind of nice and neat. So, tablet, laptop. And here it's a little bit more shallow but stretchy pocket in which you can have your peripherals like your mouse, maybe the charger. It also has here some small pockets as you can see there. These are not very deep, right? This is as deep as it goes, right? It's stretchy. The one thing I don't like about this one is that this stretch pocket navigates into the main compartment. So if I, have, if I put like my charger, for example, right? It's gonna take space in the main compartment, right? So whatever you put here, it's gonna take space in the main compartment. So I, I I, feel that I would much rather have had a flat a flat pocket that doesn't invade my my my, my space here than this stretchy pocket that, I mean, it's, it's great because you can put a lot of stuff, but whatever you put there is gonna merge into this one. So now you have to fight that to get to the bottom of that. So that's one of the things that, um, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's cool. It's just, I feel that it could have been done a little bit better. Right? So another thing too here, oh look, I have some important papers. Um, another thing with this one is that uh, this, this pocket, um, the, it's, it has a little Velcro section to it, right? So you can un-Velcro this, this, this part, and then un-Velcro the bottom the bottom limit so that way you can move it up and down on these strips to tailor it to whatever size your computer is right it goes um 13 15 i think it goes to 17 inches if you remove it entirely but for example actually here it tells you in what level you have to put it depending on the on the size of your computer so 13 inches my current setup is at 15 inches, right? Is that my laptop? And then 13 inches. So it's kind of cool because then you don't have to dig. That's, for example, something that happens a lot with GoRuck. With the GoRuck bags, if you have a smaller computer, then you end up having to dig really deep to, to get your, your computer out, right? Um, so that's kind of cool too. Uh, going to the last feature in the, in, here in the front of the main compartment, it's big, we're talking about all the pockets we have, right? We also have a magnetic pocket right here at the clasp. This is usually where I keep my iPhone, um, my iPhone cable, because, you know, I want it easily just plug it anywhere, right? So that's also the, uh, the other pocket that it has, right? In terms of pockets, uh, probably you have already noticed, it has two stretch pockets here. Water bottles will fit very nicely in it. Maybe also a light layer will fit into it have some stuff from my last trip. Um, these are nice, right? Then there is another feature that it's embedded into this bag that it's very, very, it's worth talking about. So it has like a small, I'm sure you've seen, we have the loops here for the zippers, right? But you probably notice there's also the same loop exists here. There's another one up here and then they exist also in here. So what are those loops for? Well, the 
the pack includes straps. I have all of these here, I keep them there. And I'm just gonna show you with one how it works. So basically you attach it to one of these loops and then you cross it or you put it whatever you want to any of these other loops and then it creates an accessory strap. For example, I have this one and I usually use as an X when I'm traveling with extra layers just, just to put the jacket on the back because if I'm traveling, I probably just wanna take it off to to navigate around the airport, but then I wanna put it on for the flight because of you know um, um, air conditioning and such, right? So it's very easy. But it says, you can imagine, you can also use this one here in the bottom. Right, to, have to have to create another shelf to carry things. And of course, you have to remember that you have a lot. Well, it includes four, right? So, like so. Another place is actually, I keep those, I keep all of those in this little pocket here that I feel that it's, there's really not another function for it. Again, magnetic clasp. Um, I wouldn't put anything here as, because I would be afraid for it to fall down. And actually the way this is delivered is that it has already the two of them in here and they're just stashed inside, right? But anyway, so the, the other two actually come already pre-attached on the inside of these pockets. So on the inside of these pockets, right here, there's another loop. So you can also attach it here and maybe here. And that way, if you're carrying something long, like for example, a tripod, you keep it close to you, right? Um, I have not really used the straps here on this configuration, but I have definitely used them a lot here in the front. And of course, if you're maxing out, really maxing out your, your pack more than this, you can also take these straps and use them to, to really, really hold something, something even bigger. Like I'm thinking like maybe in winter where you have like, you know, big jackets, or if you bought a bunch of stuff while you were traveling, you can just keep this closed. Very simple by crossing. I would, I would cross it like that. And then as you can imagine, the other one goes in this direction and then so that is really cool. Um, I, that think, I think that's one of my favorite features that this pack has. Um, so I really, really like that, that part. Um, very versatile. This is the all black version, but of course there are different colors. Um, last but not least, it also has a key loop here, right? With a magnetic, a magnetic loop. So this one will go into your keychain, and then you just, Put it in here and that way you always have your keys somewhere that is really secure or you can even just as you have your pack it's stretchy so you can just use a bungee cord open your house open your office and they go back in again this is the everyday carry pack so it's very meant for commuters every day in and out um so on so on i use it for travel as i said before um the last thing that I, that, I, that I can show you is it comes with a sternum strap. The sternum strap goes into these little openings, right? The way this works is one of these buckles has a little bit of an extra bend, so it's meant to be like, let's say, the permanent side, which is this one. And then this one is a little bit more flat, so it's an easier in and out, right? So. You put it in and then you just simply take it out. When not in use, it has some loops here so you can keep it from, you know, flopping around. So you can just put it in one of these loops to keep it away like so. So it kind of like, it's like a, like a place keeper for it. You could also use it here. That way when you're not using the sternum strap, it's not around. 
like I said, 20 liters is not a lot of weight. And of course, this is not a very technical pack, so I'm not gonna carry a lot of heavy weight. I'm not going hiking with it and so on, even though they say you can do it in the website. And I have done it out of necessity, but because it's not meant for that, um, you know, I, I keep the, the sodium strap, as you saw, I keep it in the pocket with everything else that is not in use with all the other straps. I keep everything inside here because I don't, I don't use it very often. So this is a cute, I, oh wow, this video ended up being quite long. I thought it was gonna be quick, you know, very comfortable swivel system here. The things that I don't like, well, there's just a couple really. One thing that I don't really like, it's, I don't, it's meant to look nice. It doesn't stay looking nice easily. For example, not from a lot of, of use, but you can see already how this is chipped, right? I mean, so, uh, I don't know. I feel that a bag that is meant to look nicely should stay nice for longer. And the other thing too is, I don't know if you can see a little bit, probably not because of the light that I have, but you see some stains here, right? Maybe like another one over here, right? So it stains super easily. And I've talked to other people that have it, and it, this is true for every single color. It stains super easily. And I mean, here. Very, 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 very easy to clean. It's done. But, like I said, I wanted something that looked professional. So before I go into my meetings or into work, I have to make sure that I use a cloth to clean it. Otherwise it looks like it's a bag that I throw around all the time in the basement. I know, probably not, but you get what I, that, that, that's my, my one point um, that I'm not super happy or that I'm not really stoked about is just how easy this thing gets dirty. That's all I have to say about that. The other thing too, it's that it's very, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not cheap. I'm checking the website right now for the price. It's $259.95 for the 20 liter. So 260 bucks is not, it's a lot of money. Uh, I was able to get this at a, at a very discounted price. So that's the reason why I have it. I think I would have never f paid full price for this. If I was gonna pay $259 for this, um, I'm not a photographer, so I probably would have not paid that for that much because you know a lot of these features are a little bit of an overkill if all you want is something to put your stuff in and easily out, right? Uh, for me, the, the, the really, I had a colleague that, that, that recommended for me, but, and I got super hyped, but then after I got it, like, well, it makes sense because he commutes every day in a bicycle, has to have more organization, has to have more stuff. Uh, however, it's it's good for air travel. I, I, I must say that it's good for air travel, and also because of the organization. When I'm traveling and I'm maybe gonna go hit a local gym and stuff, I can actually use these separators in a different configuration to have my dirty clothes here and my fresh clothes on top. Like it's the strong point of this, of what you're paying for, is really the versatility that it has and how much thought process was put into every single feature. So. This is my honest review on the Everyday Pack, Everyday Backpack by Pick Design. Um, leave your comments, leave your questions. If you have used it in a different way than this and have some tips and tricks on, on how to better use this pack, let us know. And thank you for watching another episode of An Honest Review.